Some people wait for the future, some fear it. But a rare few see it long before it arrives. Three minds, three visions, three predictions that reshape the world. Jules Verne, Nikola Tesla, Alan Turing. They lived in a different eras, but each looked decades, even centuries, ahead. How did they imagine machines that didn't exist? Technology no one believed possible? Worlds humanity hadn't even dreamed of yet? Let's step into the minds of the thinkers who didn't just study the future. They predicted it before rockets touched the sky, before submarines prowled the oceans, before space travel seemed remotely real. A novelist described all of it in detail. His name was Jules Verne, the father of science fiction. In 1865, he wrote about men traveling to the moon, using a launch site in Florida, inside a capsule shaped like Apollo, experiencing weightlessness or splashing down in the ocean on return. More than a century later, NASA followed the same script. Verna didn't have equations. He didn't have labs. He had imagination, powerful enough to outrun science itself. He once said, anything one man can imagine, another man can make real and his stories became blueprints for inventions that defined the modern age. Now step into the mind of a man who lived a century ahead of everyone, a man who dreamed in lightning. Disney Nikola Tesla. He imagined wireless power long before smartphones or Wi-Fi existed. He envisioned self-driving machines, renewable energy, and the global transmission of information in the 1800s. When the world still relied on fire and steam, Tesla pictured cities powered by clean currents. When people viewed electricity as dangerous, he saw it as destiny. His experiments lit up the world, literally, but his ideas were so radical that many thought he was insane. Yet today, we live inside the future, he predicted. Wireless technology, drones, remote controls, electric cars, modern energy grids, all sparked from the mind of a man who stood alone in his time, but walked step for step with the future. In a quiet room during World War II, a young mathematician stared at encrypted messages that no human could decode. His name was Alan Turing, and to him, the solution wasn't stronger soldiers, but smarter machines. He built one of the earliest computers to crack the uncrackable, but his true breakthrough came years later. When he asked one question, can machines think? And long before smartphones, before the internet, before anyone dreamed of AI. Turing predicted everything. He described machine learning, pattern recognition, even the concept of a chatbot, decades before any existed. His Turing test became the foundation of artificial intelligence. Turing didn't just imagine the future of machines. He imagined the future of humanity, living and thinking alongside them. Three minds, three centuries. One extraordinary thread. They trusted imagination more than the world around them. They didn't wait for proof. They didn't fear ridicule. They didn't follow the present. They followed possibility. And because they did, we fly, we connect, we compute, we innovate in ways they saw long before anyone else. You may never design a rocket. You may never decode a war. You may never invent the next great machine. But the future begins every time you dare to see something others don't. Every time you imagine beyond the limits. Every time you let curiosity outrun fear. Because the world isn't shaped by those who predict the future, but by those bold enough to build the one they imagine.